Hello, everyone, and welcome into another recruit interview. We got Troy Stevenson on the other end of this call, and Troy, appreciate you taking the time, man. I know we've we've done a lot of back and forth, man, but we finally yeah. got to the show. I know you're pumped to be a Yellow Jacket. Uh, man, just kind of talk, how does it feel to have this decision done and over with? I know it's been a little over two weeks, but, you know, when you look back, how are you feeling about having this decision done? Uh, it feels great, man. It was a um, long journey, long uh, recruiting process, but I just had to settle down and go to a college that I really want to go to. Now, obviously, man, it's no secret uh, with you kind of being a guy that Georgia Tech was really kind of honing in on wanting to make one of the leaders of this class. Not only, you know, not only just the recruiting ranking, uh, mm -hmm. 24-7 Sports has you as that four-star, the top-ranked recruit in this class. But, I mean, this is a class that's setting out very well. So talk to me about the bond that you have with some of these other guys in this class and what you guys are trying to build. Oh, uh, yeah, I really have a um, great bond with um, some of the uh, returning players from last year, like like Kari. And um, I've actually created some bonds with um, the new players, like, upcoming in my class. Because, uh, what was it, Coach Q? He added all of us mm -hmm. to a group chat, and he told us to introduce ourselves. So, Obviously, the bond's pretty strong as well, like you mentioned, uh, your visit. Take me back to that visit. I mentioned, or you said Kari G is, is one of those guys. Did he host you? And, and what was that visit like? Oh, it was a great visit. Um, they showed me everything. They showed me around Atlanta and also the um, – the facilities and stuff like that. And they actually have they actually have some more new facilities that they're building. And yeah, it was kind of it was it was great. It was a great time I had. Now obviously <laughs> man obviously man, you know, Atlanta's a cool place to play. So did you get to experience what night game under Bobby Dodd under the lights is gonna be like? I mean, what do you think that atmosphere can be in uh I mean, is it a place that you can see yourself playing for, you know, more than one or two, three years maybe? I feel like it's a great atmosphere. Um, I actually been to a Mercedes Benz Stadium when I, when I think it was their first game. I'm not sure but when they played Clemson, mm -hmm. but yeah, it was a great atmosphere out there. It was so much people there. That's awesome, indeed. Obviously, fans are really excited, uh, you know, about this class, and you got a lot of guys that can make some impact. You know, what was the pitch to you? Is is it playing time? I mean, look, they're going to have to replace some defensive backs after this year. But what mm -hmm. made it the place for you and, and the coaching staffs in that relationship? I would say family playing time, and actually life after football. Mm. Mm. Life after football. They mentioned a 40-year decision. That's what they talk about. It's not a four-year decision. It's a 40-year decision at Georgia Tech. Obviously, yeah. the academics as well. Um, talk about the relationship. Who is your primary recruiter uh, there, and, and kind of how did the whole process start and go for you? Uh, it's mainly Coach Tillman and Coach Stacker. And, awesome. Um, I don't know, man. We just it was just one day Coach Tillman called and we had a great bond from there. What's Coach Tillman like that the fans don't get to see? I mean, obviously we get a little glimpse of him, you know, during the press conferences that he does at the beginning of the season and everything like that. But what is Coach Tillman like maybe uh, off the field a little bit? Cool uh, he's, guy, he's, serious all the time. What's he like? No, nah, he's a cool guy. He's a he's a kind of funny guy too. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Troy Stevenson, obviously building that relationship with Andrew Thacker. Uh, look, when they showed you kind of the film and, and the guys they have there right there, you look at the secondary, it's one of the strengths of this team coming into this season. Guys like LaMiles Brooks, who spoke today at ACC Media Days. Uh, when you look at this group and how they've developed some of these players, I mean, what does that mean to you and some of the other younger guys coming in that want to one day fill that role? I mean, if it, I mean, it feels great. I mean, it's a lot to uh, handle for us young group coming in. Whenever they they um leave to go off to the NFL or anything else in life, well, yeah, I feel like it's it's gonna be like a I don't know. We just gotta have to make a statement. Make a statement indeed, and that's something Georgia Tech's trying to do with this class. But obviously, man, it's a program that has not had the wins that they've wanted in the past couple of years. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people probably looked at your commitment and said, he's a great player. Why is he going to Georgia Tech? You had some offers from some really great programs. Mm -hmm. But is it more of a sense, and we've talked with a lot of other guys who have said this, said, hey, we want to make our own path. It's easy to follow the path of others. Is that kind of the same decision you came down to? Yeah, basically, most likely, yes. Awesome, awesome. Last question for you, man. When you look at this uh, this opportunity that you have to play in downtown Atlanta in the ACC against some big time opponents, I mean, where do you see your career going, and what are some goals you have maybe in Atlanta, but obviously uh, getting to the league as well? I'm sure is some. Um, basically just going and make a statement as a true freshman, and um, trying to get my spot as a true freshman, and just go up there play play my game and go and compete. 
Now, obviously, you got that defensive back role, but you're a versatile guy. Is there a specific mm-hmm. spot they're looking at you in this defense of where you could fit in? Um, they said they, they can have me in the nickel or the dime spot, but, I mean, it doesn't matter where to put me. I'm just going to go out there and ball. Go out there and ball, indeed. You mentioned the relationship with Kari G, a, a guy that obviously you're close with, some recruits in this class. What do you have to say to the fan base, man, that's excited about this class and excited about the year in 2023? Uh, basically, we're going to come in and make a statement. Go Jackets. Awesome. That's Troy Stevenson. Quick interview. But, man, he said a lot. Obviously, the Jackets excited with the top-ranked recruit in the 24-7 sports-ranked cycle. Troy, appreciate it, man. Best of luck to you in your senior year. Obviously, uh, there's, it's going to be a lot of last this year. Are you excited? Uh, are you excited for this season and, and to get it underway? Yes, sir, I am. going to go out there my senior season and ball out. Awesome, man. Troy Stevenson, appreciate the time, brother. You have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you. You do the same. That is Troy Stevenson, a big-time recruit for the Jackets, and they're lucky to get him in the fold. My name is Bryce Kuhn. This is Swarm Talk. We do quick little interviews like this with the Jacket Commits, but we also have some great content coming out as well. Uh, Hope you have a great Wednesday rest of your day. Make sure to check into a live stream on Thursday night. We're going to continue that revamp dynasty. We're also going to continue to do some great position previews as we get ramped up nearly a show every single weekday. Just Georgia Tech content. If you like other stuff as well, check out the rest of the channel. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit subscribe. We'll catch you next time here on Swarm Talk, brought to you by the Crowd of Booth. Pile in here and make yourself feel at home. The Crowded Booth is coming on. The Crowded Booth with Bryce Coons.